Do you know that there was a report today that uh, Norway is accepting refugees, you know, uh, Muslim refugees. And uh, I already told you on prior videos that majority of refu the refugees from Syria and Iraq are not just Syrian and, I, from, and from Iraq, but different other nationalities, like um, from Yemen, Sri Lanka, various other countries. And, um, you know, in fact, I told you several videos back that I had a dream that the United States looked like a third world country and looked like in this country there was various nationalities, not just Middle Eastern, there was African, Asian, you name it. This country looked like a third world country. And I have reason to believe that that dream is coming to pass. We are getting an influx in the United States. We're getting an influx of uh, refugees from various nationalities, not just the Middle East. Anyway, um, listen, I believe that that dream is coming to pass. And the thing is, when we get all these nationalities in the United States that are posing as refugees, the country is going to look worse. And it's going to, I believe, again, it's going to be economic turmoil because let's face it, this country is broke, United States, and does not and does not have enough funds and resources to feed all of these mouths. And the violence that you see in Wisconsin, I'm not wishing anything on anybody, but that's only going to increase. You have to keep in mind that ISIS is not defeated. They spread their ranks. Um, their plan was to infiltrate um, all the refugees being inundated in these various countries. And, you know, if, if I were them, I would have done the same thing too. I'm just saying it's a strategic move. It's a golden opportunity to not only spread their ranks and have those rank have those ranks recruit more, but it's also a way for them to spread their false Islamic faith. Um, that's what they were planning to do all along. I believe that ISIS wanted to um, send their refugees, or I'm sorry, send in militants, ISIS recruits within, mix them within the regular refugee uh, uh, population. And then have those ISIS recruits recruit more. Imagine what that could do, what damage that can do, how fast ISIS can grow. So ISIS is not defeated. They're actually, if you think about it, victorious because they achieved their plan. They said that they were going to infiltrate all of the countries of the West and various other nations that they deem enemies of Islam. And uh, Sweden's got a lot of refugees. Uh, not only Sweden... Um, Norway, Germany, okay, and you have to also keep in mind that in the United States also, you have to keep in mind that these ISIS posing as refugees, their aim is to make it to these countries and recruit more. You have to understand that they're going to, they're going to target and find a particular individual, one that is vulnerable, one that has gone through tragedy, uh, whether it's traumatic tragedy, they seek those out could be a death in a family. Um, they're looking for ones that, that um, were particularly betrayed by the government. It could be if you had a death in a family, right? And um, I'm going to give you an example. And let's say uh, you are a military wife and your husband passed on and the military doesn't pay out any benefits to you. That type of situation. Or it could be... Um, if you, your loved one was murdered by someone and the government let them off with a slap on the wrist, anything like that, that they're looking for some, for those individuals that don't trust their government, that have been, that have been betrayed in some way, somehow, or have gone through a traumatic event, are depressed, um, they particularly char, uh, target young kids that still live within their homes, that they're very young, they're very vulnerable, uh, teenagers, even younger than that, um, they have very impressionable minds. They're looking for that. A mind that they can easily brainwash and control and mold to their satanic image. So those of you that think ISIS is defeated, they're not. Russia might have bombed um, the oil fields or whatever, but ISIS's aim was to infiltrate various nations, and they did just that. Their plan was not to only infiltrate various nations, but to have their 
recruits that infiltrated these nations recruit more so that way they could grow far large in numbers in these various countries thereby still spreading their caliphate state with that being said um i mean again that's why i believe my dream is coming to pass little by little with that being said um there was a report and i started telling you about it in the beginning of this broadcast but there was a report that uh norway is accepting refugees that are Muslim and um, you know how it is that when when you are a refugee in another country you should respect those countries laws because you're a guest essentially but these countries that are accepting these Muslims are going way above and beyond to appease these Muslims what for I don't know because Islam is nothing but a cult a cult that brainwashes impressionable minds a cult that promotes Allah as the true living God. When Allah is a false God, Allah is the devil. Again, I told you that the Bible calls Allah the father of lies, a.k.a. Satan. The Quran calls Allah the greatest of schemers. The living God, Jesus Christ, is not a schemer. He's not a liar. He never lied before. It doesn't make any sense to call a God a schemer. That means a plotter, a dishonest liar. That is not Jesus Christ. He never told a lie before. So that should be an eye-opener that the Bible, the God of the Bible and the God of the Quran are two different deities. They are not the same. The true living God is the Christian God, the God of Moses, Abraham, Jacob, Isaiah. That God is the very same God, the great I am, which is Jesus Christ. So a report was out that in Norway, they want, um, there was a decree put out for uh churches that are accepting organizations that are accepting Muslims, refugees, to remove the crosses. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but if it was an Islamic organization, they would never tell them to take down their satanic Wicca symbol, which is the star and the moon. They would never tell them to do that. But when it's a Christian, they and if they tell them to take down that Islamic symbol, Islamic, um, Islamic, um, cult members will be rioting and blowing stuff up blowing stuff up all across the nation i mean forget it you know they, they're crazy they go nuts when you draw a little cartoon about their false prophet muhammad now here's one thing i don't get why doesn't norway grow a pair of testicles and put these muslims in their place and tell them you are in our country you will abide by our rules or you could simply leave and go back to your war torn nations they don't do that instead they um these organizations remove the crosses just to appease these muslims you don't have to bend backwards and forward for these muslims because first of all when they are in a foreign country that is not their land they have no right to tell you what to do, where to go, what to eat, or how to appease them. If they do not like the laws of that land, they could simply leave. You don't remove the cross. The cross is Christianity. In other words, the cross is the reason why the cross, just the plain cross, is a symbol of Jesus Christ what he did for us on the cross for mankind to save them from their sins. Just because Muslims are offended by it, oh well, too bad. You tell them to go. You tell them basically to go to hell. And I'm I'm sorry to say this, but you know, this is ridiculous that these nations are going way above and beyond to appease these Muslims. They really are. So they told them to remove the cross, and only one organization said that they wasn't going to do it. That it's not right. Because Norway was founded on Christian principles, and it's not right that when Muslims come in, they have to remove the cross. You see, later, this is how it starts. <sighs> this is why I believe Islam is spreading like a disease it is. When Muslims infiltrate a nation, okay, let's say that nation is Christian. If these, this nation that they're infiltrating, doesn't have a backbone, and is not a true warrior for Christ, they will cave into the Muslims and remove the Christian symbolisms. They will remove this, they will remove that, not so they don't offend the Muslims. Then, by the time you know it, these Muslims will be setting up shop, building mosques, they'll be in the streets, preaching their false gospel, 
They'll spread in numbers. Um, by the time you know it, they're going to be in every part of society within that nation. I'm talking about government, banking, you name it. And by the time you know it, they will indoctrinate, indoctrinate your youth, your country, into the Islamic beliefs. By the time you know your nation will be an Islamic nation. And Christianity won't exist in that nation. If you're going to be warriors for Christ, you need to act like it and have a backbone. And don't let these Muslims push you around and tell you what you need to do. I'm not spreading hate. I'm just saying the facts. This is what I'm seeing. I got this report today and another report about how Germany is uh, teaching Islam in their schools. And, and Germany is supposed to be a Christian nation. And how in some churches, um, they are taking down the cross and putting up the moon, the crescent moon and the star, which is supposed to symbolize that satanic religion of Islam. Um, that moon and a crescent star is an occult symbol also of Wicca. Do your homework. Do the research. So, you know, the spreading a religion of pedophiles is what I'm telling you. Just be careful, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the word, Lord warned about this, you know, about false Christs and false prophets performing lying signs and wonders and even if possible to deceive the very elect. And this would happen. You know, and the falling away, I believe, has started. You know, we've there's been a falling away, but I'm not. I'm gonna correct myself. I believe it's escalated, and I believe that Islamic is gonna be the big push for the great falling away. In other words, you'll have Islam, and like I said, of course, the 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 Antichrist um, will cause the greatest falling away ever. This is crazy. These are dangerous times, okay? These are times you need to stay covered by the blood of Jesus. I just thought I'd share this with you, bring it out to you. Every time I look at the news, there's always something bad happening. Um, pray for Israel. Pray for, for our brothers and sisters in Christ because we're growing fewer in number. You know, be warriors for the cross. Pray for the lost. Pray for even Muslims that have not blasphemed God yet, that they see the truth in the light, which is Jesus Christ before it's too late. 